We are about to stall and this is our adventures in and around South Africa. What's up everyone, super excited to finally do the big reveal. Now to many of you this will not be a surprise, but to those of you who don't know, woohoo, it's gonna be good. Okay, so why the Eagle? Well, for one, the kit fox is out of service because we're upgrading the Rotex engine from 115 horse to 165 by edge performance. That's going to be insane. Insane. And having no plane, we looked at ways, how can we promote aviation? How can we inspire people to fly without an airplane? And we thought, aerobatics. Let's go do some aerobatics. Yeah, people do love aerobatics and air shows. So we needed a plane. And this little eagle behind us was in the market. Number one, she's a looker. Number two, she's got a 200 horsepower engine. So we decided, why not? Okay, so I'm super curious, and I know our viewers would like to know as well. How does flying the Kit Fox compare to flying the eagle? Well, for one, they're both tail draggers, which means on the ground they are extremely busy. When I started with the kit fox, I used to think, yeah, this thing is responsive. Got into the eagle, where the kit fox gives you half a second, the eagle gives you about a quarter of a second to respond. Coming into land with a kit fox is like stirring a pot, nice big movements. With the eagle, it's like writing a letter very fast. She is extremely responsive. Well, enough said. Let's go fly. Backtracking and I'm with 3 sticks to holding point the Bravo Ramia. That was absolutely incredible. The eagle is just something else. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoy our little eagle. Follow our journey through aerobatics as we share them with you. Remember to like and subscribe, dream big, fly high, live the adventure.